what you will need is your hair, well your closure, bleach, forty volume developer, your gloves, plastic knife, a comb, and a mixing bowl with a brush. So let's begin with taking our bleach and putting it in our mixing bowl. I'm taking two spoonfuls or whatever the amount that is that they gave inside of it. Um, honestly, you only need one. And then I'm going to take my 40 volume developer and I'm going blah, 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 and I'm just going to add some in. And then we're just going to begin on the mixing, mixing, and mixing. And I did add a little bit more. And then we're just going to mix, 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 and then we'll be done. <laughs> And here, as you can see, I'm just going to take our closure and just comb it out. And then I'm going to place the hair down with the lace facing upwards. And then I'm going to take our mixture. And I'm just going to lightly paste it on. For this part, I recommend just using the knife to paste the mixture onto the lace instead of using the brush because the brush is way too big. You don't have enough control and that can accidentally seep through the lace, which you do not want because if once it seeps through, then you're going to have to go back for corrections and then that's when you have blonde roots. And it's just a whole big mess. So as you guys can see, I'm taking my plastic knife and I'm just going to go ahead and lightly pat it down. Just lightly pat on the mixture. The bleach just lightly pat the bleach onto the closure you don't want to spread it like butter just lightly pat it on complete I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer for 15 minutes and once 15 minutes is up three two one we're gonna go ahead and go to the bathroom and we're gonna wash this bad boy out <laughs> Once I got it all nice and clean, I'm going to use the Shimmer Light Shampoo. This is for blondes and silvers just to get the brassy tone out. And then I'm just going to put it on the hair, lather it completely. Once you're done applying the Shimmer Light Shampoo, you want to go ahead and let it sit for another 15 minutes. And I did forget to show this on camera. Once you do rinse it out, we're going to go ahead and use this other shampoo. And I'll enter a pick right here. And this is the ISO Plus Neutralizing Shampoo Conditioner. It removes all product buildup and it leaves the hair clean. Also, it neutralizes all, relax, all relaxer types and restores pH balance. Then once you're done with that, and you just put it on the hair, you rinse it out, you don't have to let that sit on. We're going to use our Shea Moisture Anti-Breaking Conditioner. And I'm just going to go ahead and also apply this on our closure. We're going to condition it, make sure it comes back to life, make it smell really good. And then we're going to go ahead, comb it out, we're going to rinse it. And now I'm just showing you guys what the closure looks like without the bleach. And as you can see, it is perfect. And if you guys don't know, this was my first attempt. So this is just proof to show you don't have to, you know. Yes, it's good to watch YouTube videos so you know you get the concept of what you're doing. But you don't have to be a pro to be good at this, obviously. Because this is my first time. And here is the final product. Once it's all done, finish air drying. This is what it looks like. Check out my next video to see how to make a full wig with a lace closure. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please put it down in the comment area. Don't forget, it's new, fri new videos every Friday and Sunday. And I'll check you guys out in my next one. Bye, dolls.